For the guys who want to know how stuff works, science and technology in the sport you love. This is Punk Works. Hey everybody, Bryce Larson here. Um, we're going to do a um, LSAT, a Larson standard efficiency test, um, using a couple of guns. I've got uh, Miller Times G6R right here, and I've got my protege right here. Okay, this reg is the Ninja SLP, this reg outputs at uh, 260 PSI. Um, I'll put a gauge on it and verify that this, that's exactly where it outputs. Um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to take a standard Ninja reg outputting at 750 to 780 PSI, and I'm going to take the super low pressure reg. We're going to shoot both guns using the same barrel, this is the stock G6R barrel, 685, uh, 14 inch with the porting of about you know, 5 inches on the end. Uh, I'm going to throw both guns to 280. Um, we're going to start with my 13-3000 tank with this big oil fill gauge on, gauge on it. We're going to take this tank fill to 2000 PSI using the shoebox compressor, compressor. I'm going to shoot paint through the gun into our paint trap back there um, until the pressure has dropped from 2000 to 1000 PSI. Okay. At that point I'm going to record the number of shots to go from 2000 to 1000 PSI. Then what we'll do is we'll continue shooting from 1000 down over the chronograph. The first shots we'll do is we'll chronograph the first one. Don't have to chronograph the rest. They'll continue to shoot with, um, at the same speed. We just want to know how many cycles it takes to get 1,000 PSI out of the tank. Then we'll shoot from 1,000 PSI down through the chronograph until the gun is shooting below 220 feet per second. That's kind of a rough usable uh, floor that we've decided. So it gives us two different numbers. The first number tells us um, the operating pressure or the, the efficiency of the gun per PSI per cubic inches of, t of the tank. You could theoretically use that to extrapolate out to other tank sizes. We find it's a nice size because it ends up with a medium sized number to use a small tank like this, but something you can compare to gun to gun. So what this will tell us, what it will tell us whether the G6R, it will tell us the difference in efficiency between using a standard reg and the super low pressure reg. It will also take a similar gun and we'll try it with both regs and see what happens with that gun. Nobody's told anyone to use a 260 PSI output tank reg on the um, protege, but um, We'll see what happens. All right, so the way we do this test is we take this gauge, and uh, this is a nice high precision gauge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the gun, dry fire. And I'm going to get this gauge, tell the needle sits right down onto 2000. Okay, the needle's sitting on top of 2000. I'm going to shoot paint until it's sitting on top of 1000. Oop, it cooled off. It's going to go back, back up a little bit. I'm going to shoot paint until it's sitting right on top of 1,000. At that point, we'll count the number of shots between um, 2,000 and 1,000. That'll give us uh, an ability to do some math and figure out what's going on. Alright, sitting on 2,000 on the nose. I'm going to put the loader on. My gun's eyes on. Might as well use them as got them, right? Okay, we are ready to go. <clears throat> Gauge is right in front of my face, it's a handy spot to see it. Sitting on top of a thousand. That's 88 shots to go from 2,000 to 1,000 on a 33, or on a 13 cubic inch tank. Alright, uh, G6R, we're gonna needle is just on the bottom side of the line of 2,000. We're gonna shoot down until it's uh, just sitting on the bottom side of 1,000. See how many shots we end up getting. Turn to 275 to 280, just like the protege. Ninety. 
100, 102 shots to get that 1,000 PSI shot off the tank. So we'll dump that in the spreadsheet. We'll do the um, the bottom half, the 1,000, till, uh, till we run out of uh, air, drop down to 220 on the Toronto next. All right, I want to show you guys this because I think it's kind of cool. I just did the uh, shooting down from 1,000. The first shot to Chrono under 220, right there, 212.5. It was shot number 95. And check out this gauge. That's kind of amazing. So this is at 1, 2, 3. So the tank currently is sitting at like 150 PSI. So... Yeah, I'm a little confused about how that result is there, but um, that's what I got. 95 shots from 1,000 down to right here, and that's where the gun shot under 220 for the first time.